Connect all over the world at WNST.net. We never stop talking Baltimore sports. Obi, on uh, that last drive, are you thinking to yourself, gosh, I hope they put this in the end zone? Or are you thinking to yourself, gosh, I hope I get the chance to win this game for my team? Um, I'm thinking both. I mean, I mean, if we put it in the end zone, great. I mean, but if it comes down to me kicking, you know, this is this is what you practice for. This is why I came to college, and you know, this is why I pray every day. You know, just pray that the Lord can give me the strength to come through when my team needs me, and, and He did give me the strength. Two straight games now at home that you've had the chance to kick a game winner at the end. What is it? You know, what are the emotions like with the crowd? What's the whole emotions going through you, and how do you keep yourself even keel going into those kicks? Um. I just just try to focus in and you know do it like you know like in practice you want to do little things right. So when I go out on the field, I just you know just tell myself you know just just keep your eyes back on the ball and you know everything else will take care of itself. And, and I did that and I made it. So you know it's just trust trusting myself and trusting all all the practice I put put in. Compare where you are with the, just right now to when you were 0 and 5 this season, and now you're coming off two game winners in the last three weeks, and your team 7 and 3. Just compare right now to maybe say uh, the night of the Middle Tennessee game. I mean, just you know, I just, I just, just, just got a little unlucky early on in the season. You know, I mean, I don't feel like I'm that that much different. You know, I'm just, I'm just staying, I'm just a little bit more focused. And I'm just focusing on the fundamentals. In two straight games now, you guys have had to play in terrible field conditions with wet footballs, everything like that. How do you keep yourself from getting distracted by the, sort of the outside influences in those situations? I mean, you can't really get distracted by that. I try to um, only focus on, you know, only worry about things you can control and not so much worry about things you can't control. I really can't control the field conditions. I can't control the weather. But what I can control is my, my mindset when I go out there on the field. And how does it make you feel personally to know that the guys on this team trust you, that coach trusts you, and that they want the game to sort of rest on your foot sometimes. I mean, it feels great. It feels great. I mean, I feel like I, tr I trust everybody on the team. I mean, it, even if it, if, if it was fourth and one, I trust my teammates to get that one yard to win the game. I would, it, would, it wouldn't, you know, that's, that's coach's decision. But, you know, either way, I trust my teammates to get it done, and, and I'm glad they trust me. It's certainly going to be an emotional week this week as there's a possibility that the division title will be on the line next week against Florida State. What do you do, not I mean, just as a kicker, but as a leader on this team, to try to keep the emotions in check and, and have everything ready to go for Saturday night. Um, we're just just going to try to approach this like every other game. You know, it's the next game, and, and, the, and the next game is it's, it's it's the most important one. And for us, we're just going to try to do everything we can to be prepared for Florida State when they come in. All over the world at WNST.net, we never stop talking Baltimore sports.